JSON Web Token is a standard for sharing JSON data that are protected by a cryptographic signature. It is the most common method of authorization of services on the internet. But the question is, once your service issues the token, where should your front end store it? You want to strongly avoid anyone getting access to the identity or access token of another user through cross-site request forgery or cross-site scripting. What method of storing JWT in the browser you use is super important because you want to make it very hard for anyone to hack your application. If you store JWT in a cookie, cookies have the advantage that they are automatically sent together with each request, so you don't need to deal with any authorization header. That makes them much easier to implement. Cookies are still open to cross-site request forgery. Because of CSRF, you should also implement CSRF tokens. CSRF token is a random string sent as a cookie with each request, and it is different for each of those requests. You should also use HTTP only flag to make the cookie available only server side. A cookie with this flag attribute is inaccessible to the JavaScript document cookie API. It is sent only to the server. A cookie with the secure attribute is sent to the server only with an encrypted request over HTTPS protocol. However, on locals only you can still use HTTP. For JWT in web storage, you can choose between local storage and session storage. The difference between these two is that local storage is more permanent. Session storage is cleared when the user closes the website window. Local storage data have to be explicitly deleted. Unlike cookies, local storage is sandboxed to a specific domain and its data cannot be accessed by any other domain, including subdomains. But remember that you are still open to cross-site scripting. Both cookie and web storage solutions can be a target of cross-site scripting. Local storage is used the most in JWT implementations. However, session storage is the more secure option here. With local storage, JWT is not passed with each request automatically, and you need to pass it to the server through an authorization header yourself. The most secure solution here is to store JWT in memory of your single page application. This means that you end up storing the token in a JavaScript variable without additional persistence. This comes with some limitations. You cannot implement a single sign-on, and each tab or open window in a browser will require their own sign-in, because JavaScript memory is not shared. However, the sharing issue can be worked around by the use of a refresh token. This solution is of course still open to cross-site scripting, like all the other solutions. You will need to pass the JWT with each request using an authorization header, the same way as you would with web storage. And that's everything for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And you can find all the materials and source code in the description of the video. See you with the next one. Bye.